So we give hospice care every day in our healthcare center, in our personal care, and also in retirement living. Um, Masonic Village has been giving uh, hospice care since 2009 with our partner Masonic Village Hospice. So Evergreen will be a 16 bed private room area uh, located in the healthcare center on the third floor of our Ben Franklin building. We value the care team model here at Masonic Village, which involves nursing, therapies, ancillary services, as well as the providers, including the physician and the nurse practitioner. And so we'll bring hospice on board to that team and we'll continue to utilize our comprehensive care model in that way. In each room, we'll have a couch that will pull out to a bed, which, which will provide comfort for our families needing to spend the night. Our private chapel will provide spiritual care and spiritual need uh, for our families and so that they are right around the corner from their loved one. Um, we wanted to make sure that children weren't lost in the shuffle during this journey. So we provided a room that's called the children's room. And so those, those kids that come and visit, whether it's the grandkids or the great grandkids, are able to go and play with the bean bags and a drawing table and uh, play with uh, crayons and markers so that their uh, immediate family can spend time with their loved one and their kids are right around the corner. Uh, we know that the grief journey is a difficult one and so we will provide resources in one of our rooms which is a library and so that our families are able to access that library and utilize those resources. So throughout the development and design of Evergreen, families were put at the top of the priority for how we can design and accommodate this journey in end of life care. As a medical provider, I find it's very important to include families from the very beginning of the end-of-life journey. As part of that process, we'd like to create a space that is welcoming and open to the conversations that we'll be having, to the moments that are difficult and challenging for families as they face this difficult time. He was pretty healthy. He worked up until he was 86 but he was gradually having some dementia. And uh, like most wives, I learned to um, kind of help him along because I didn't want him to feel like, gee, I'm too dumb to do anything anymore. Everything I needed, they, they were there. And uh, particularly when he was up in the uh, medical building and they had a food cart there for my family when we were in there with him. I was moved to tears because here's a man laying, not conscious, and the, the gal that came in to, to bathe him in the morning, the way she cared for him and uh, combed every hair in place and she just took care of him like he was, um, you know, somebody that's still alive and well. And it moved me to tears that she cared so much, and uh, I really appreciated that. We're really fortunate to have the giving individuals at Masonic Village, and we've had a number of donors uh, donate financially uh, to Evergreen and to the causes where, as we were developing it, uh, from our capital funding to our training needs. We're just really blessed to have individuals who care so much and are willing to donate uh, financially to Evergreen. So personally, I served as a hospice volunteer throughout my medical training and hospice as a mission is very important to me personally as well as our Masonic Villages. I've really appreciated our Masonic Village hospice partnership since joining the team here at Masonic Village and I think this will be an enhancement to the care that we provide. We're excited because at this one area where, where we can have our hospice residents, we'll have a collaboration between our team, our physician team, and also Masonic Village Hospice or another hospice that, that gets decided. So the collaboration between the three teams working together on one goal for the resident and for the families. Evergreen comes is a Masonic term, and uh, I was asked if I had any good thoughts on what we might name it with the Masonic Overture, and I began to think about in every Masonic funeral, we hold up a sprig of Evergreen, and um, that is what 
the warden says is this evergreen is a symbol of eternity and eternal life and I thought what a wonderful name to call an end of life unit um, by a name that provides hope and a positive image of eternal life that this isn't the end it, it is only the next step.